Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Many years ago, a group of men brought forth on this continent a new nation conceived in liberty, implemented through the genocide of the natives and enslavement of the Africans and dedicated unequivocally to the proposition that white folks are created more equal than others. Now we are engaged in a continued great war of terrorism, testing whether that nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. We are met on a great battlefield of symbols where images, language, and sounds are weaponized to protect ideology, to inspire identification, and mark territories. This battlefield is a matrix of sensory spaces, both visual and sonic, that densely occupy our most sacred environments from bumpers to museums. We are in a constant state of nervousness and numbness as we rationalize the lines between expression and terror, safety and militarism, heritage and disrespect. We have come to dedicate part of this field, the field of ideas, to the examination of a process of survival through recoloration, resurrection, and remixing with death first life. Tradition loosens to growth, and history submits to the gravity of the future. It is altogether fitting and proper that we should do this here, in this space, and art space. But in a larger sense, we cannot dedicate, we cannot consecrate, cannot hollow this ground and this exhibition space. The ideas, both living and dead, both constitutional and artistic, that have struggled here in these spaces have concentrated it far above our power to add or detract. Although the world may struggle with what has been created, and heard here. It should never be forgotten what was done here. It is for us, the living, rather, to be dedicated to the unfinished creative work for a conscious humanity where symbols shall be in continuous evaluation of their power, meaning, and relevance. It is for us to be dedicated to the great path remaining for us, that this space shall bring forth a new collection of options and perspectives that speak of integration, inclusion, and discourse, and that the symbols of the people, done by the people, for the people, shall forever be subordinate to the complexities of human interpretation. The Confederate flag hangs as an act of closure, as an act of salvation in the reoccurring nightmare of an incredibly divisive chapter in American history, forging new ground for healing and forgiveness. Color and rematerialize the Confederate flag as an act of resurrection, rebirth, and testament to the centrality of the African American experience to any notion of Southern heritage. Any denial of that connection reaches the call of our cognition. Objects, images, and sounds this space are dedicated to the many who have suffered under the historical and social weight of this flag. In this presentation, there is a mechanism of survival for those who have been entrapped and terrorized by the power of symbols. This space 
is also dedicated to those who hold this flag in great esteem and honor. Let it be known that the Confederate flag has served its purpose and has earned a permanent place in the history of this great land. However, we should also know that this flag can never represent the full richness of the Southern experience without causing great discord, fear, and terror. To move forward together, let us retire this flag to the annals of history and search within our creative structures for new symbols that both celebrate and honor our common heritage as Southerners, as Americans, and as humans.